All right, hi everyone, it's Julian Crypto, nothing here is financial advice, Bitcoin is $19,400 and today we will talk about few news about cryptocurrency market. First of all, what events this week may affect a Bitcoin price? Next piece of news, what percentage of companies in Brazil favor cryptocurrencies? Why do rumors of Salvadoran bankruptcy over Bitcoin investments just make no sense? And what will maker DAO invest in? And what are six common characteristics of self-made millionaires? We'll talk about this piece of news. Remember guys, nothing here is financial advice. So let's start it from the beginning. Bitcoin is $19,400. And uh, we are talking about news from Max Data App News Aggregator. First of all, what events this week may influence Bitcoin price? So this week, several macro events, macroeconomical data reports will be released to the public. First of all, CPI on Thursday will once again tell investors how financial regulators handle inflation in the country, of course US, and if there is a need for additional hardening of monetary policy. This will be on Thursday and on Wednesday, so previously. Uh, FOMC meeting minutes should also give investors more clarity on how regulators uh, come on the decision to increase uh, the key rate in the United States. And of course, depending on the narrative of the financial regulators, the cryptocurrency market will react with volatility increase upwards or downwards. We will talk about these events on live streams on our Telegram channel. Next piece of news, Brazil is um, registered its highest number of companies and institutions declaring ownership of cryptocurrencies in August and more than 12,000 companies in Brazil and acknowledge holding crypto as a part of their treasury is about half percent of all companies registered in Brazil. Next piece of news from Salvador. So Salvadoran president Nike Bukele takes aim at Bitcoin uh, detractors, says the ones who are afraid are the world's powerful elites. He also at that argument that uh, we have lost, we, so Salvador, have lost 50 million dollars worth of Bitcoin is false because they simply have uh, not sold any Bitcoin. And even if they were to accept uh, that argument as true, then it would be ridiculous to conclude that any economy of 28 million billion per year will go bankrupt or into default because of a 0.2% loss in one year. When in 2021, 2021, their economy grew more than 10%. The, uh, the tourism, the tourism um, rose more than 52% tourism income. Employment rate more than 7%. And new businesses up 12%. Exports up 70%. 17 energy generation up 19 percent and all of this without increasing any taxes so nice for salvador all right next piece of news maker dar the longest standing DeFi lending protocol and creator of dai the original decentralized stablecoin announced the strategic investment of 500 million US dollars converted from 500 million DAI into a combination of US short treasuries and investment grade corporate bonds. All right, so this is nice for Maker DAO. For sure, it's kind of a bridge between real and the crypto world, real 
economy and the crypto world. Real economy. <laughs> sounds uh, sounds mm, not good real economy. Maybe not real economy, but, but traditional economy. All right, and the last. So author Tom Carley spent five years interviewing 30, 233 millionaires and here are six habits that made them ultra wealthy. First, self-made millionaires are constantly learning. Next, self-made millionaires listen more than they talk. Also, they build great teams, they dream big, they prioritize their health and they make their own luck. And this is, in my opinion, the most important thing. And here's the quote. I'm not talking about the kind of luck you have in Las Vegas. A whooping 94% of millionaires in my study said that they never gamble. Never gamble. Listen, guys, don't gamble if you want to become a millionaire. This is for sure the clear, clear info, clear message for whole many, many gamblers in the crypto industry, especially traders who are gambling their money, their own money uh, into leverage tokens, into uh, leverage, into futures, into derivatives. Remember, guys, don't gamble if you want to success in your life, especially if you listen to this article, to this uh, guy who wrote this article. All right. And that's all for today. Nothing here is was a financial advice. <laughs> all right. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for, for staying here. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is nineteen thousand and four hundred dollars right now today. It's pretty nice to look uh, at Bitcoin price below nineteen thousand. But remember, we are still facing another interest rates, so it won't be probably good time for BTC price next couple of months. Probably I'd, uh, there will be more more pain uh, because of uh, less dollars in the circulation in next couple of months and possibly even uh, years. All right, and for today that's all. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.